Interviews in Finland. What do Finnish people know about the annexation of Crimea to Russia? Some people have heard that there was a referendum there, but were people actually free to express their vote? And generally, should the people from a certain area have the right to declare independence from their mother country? And if you believe in the right of self-determination of people, then wouldn't it be of primary importance to know whether the Crimean people actually wanted to join Russia? I'll now show you the interviews, as well as some data and polls conducted by Ukrainian and Western entities, which have been underreported, if not totally blacked out by Western media. Yeah, I, I have heard that, and that's why there is a yeah. uh, situation like this. So it's uh, basically, it was part of Ukraine yeah. and then Russia annexed it. Yeah. Um, how do you think this situation should be solved? Who should decide? Uh, like who, uh, who the claims belong to? Ukraine. It's the same as we got a, I don't know how, how to say it in English. Ahvenama. Uh, Orland is in our Iceland, in the south. It's billion of Finland, and if, for example, Swedes comes there, they, it, it's our, it's our Finland, mm -hmm. because it's our inside of our border, border. You don't think that the people living there should have should decide where they want to be? Yeah, if, if, if we make it peaceful, without guns, that that's fine. But 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 now uh, we know that there is a war. And, uh, yeah. What have you heard about Crimea? I don't know how it's called in Finnish. Is it Krim, maybe? Mm -hmm. Krim. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What have you heard about it? Is it part it's... of Ukraine? Is it part of Russia? Uh, of course, it's part of Ukra uh, Ukraine, but Russia took it by <laughs> force. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that's not fair. How would you think that this thing should be solved? We knew yeah. that we would have a lot, much larger salaries, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> more important, uh. important places to work. Um, it's very difficult. Do you think it's fair if the people living in Crimea decide if they want to be part of Ukraine or Russia? I think it's very difficult to get mm. an honest opinion at this point. Oh, I do you think so. Because there's pressure. Is it a free opinion and are there other people, all the people free to vote and have people already left that thought were Crimean people? Have you heard about Crimea? Krim? Yeah, yeah, I heard about it. Is it part of Ukraine or is it part of it's Russia? Russia no. It's <laughs> Russia, that's what I heard. And do you think it's fair? Or I don't think it's fair. Uh, there is no reason to how how did it happen uh, they voted voted for that I guess but I don't know was it uh, Ukrainians who are voting for this that they go to Russia that this place was Krim that it goes for Russia yeah there was a, a referendum yeah. in in Crimea yeah. about this yeah um, do you think it's fair that the people living there decide? I think it's fair that they should decide. That. Mm -hmm. Is it Russia or is it Ukraine? Mm -hmm. But before you said that it's not fair that now it's part of Russia. Yeah, I think it's not fair that they like just come to Ukraine and start this like kind of mm -hmm. start a vote for that because there's kind of no reason for that. Okay. So, so you think that the the vote no. just a second <laughs> the vote did not happen in a, in the right conditions. Yeah. Well. You don't trust yeah. the result of the vote. Yeah. Okay. I don't think that it was like exactly how it went down. So mm -hmm. I think there is a lot of people who don't want to live in Russia like the people who are living in Krim. <laughs> I don't think like, maybe half of them don't want to. But I don't really know because I haven't been there, I haven't been there. So. For me it was okay when, when it was part of Ukraine. 
and what you rush in. But it depends how long do you look at the history. And do you think that the people of Crimea should decide where they want to be? Could be one solution if it can be uh, if they can vote freely. <laughs> okay. So the, uh, actually, there has been a referendum, but it was like under pressure and in very short time. Uh, mm. So you don't yes. think that it was like in the right conditions? Uh, no, according to the news. It was not real. Well, the thing is, when you have two constituent nations in one country, then basically there are certain like rules that apply. So, one, well, Crimea was given to Ukraine, I think, in 1954 by Khrushchev. So, but what happened was there was a president of the entire country which was well elected, you know, but. There was a coup organized mainly by the West, by Central Intelligence Agency, the Western uh, Intelligence Services, which kind of changed the status quo, changed the balance. So because the balance was lost, then the Russian people in Crimea, I guess, they felt disenfranchised, very disappointed, and felt threatened. Because now they've lost this kind of you know, balance they had. So this probably started. And um, if you like had the the power to to control the world like how would you solve this situation uh, where where should Crimea be um, I think at this point from a geopolitical uh, standpoint I think any on, there's only one solution which is realistic and that that it's under Russian control either as an autonomous province in Ukraine, completely governed by Russians, or a part of Russia. Because anything else would be completely unrealistic because of the demographics of the area. If you have a demographic of like 90% Russians in this area, it's impossible for the 10% to really control that, the 90%. Because, and, and the other thing, there is no trust between the two at this point. So I think it's unrealistic that it would be a, a regular part of Ukraine at this point. Um. So you think that the majority of people in Crimea want to be part uh, of Russia? I do. Um, how do you know? Where do, do, do you get this information? Is it from well, Russia today or is, <laughs> is there other... No, well, uh, I studied history for many years. I, I know a thing or two about world history. And that and part of the world too. And well, because, I mean, of course, it's a complicated issue, but if you even look at the history of Russia, I mean... Well, I think that... If that created a war, it's not so simple that they actually want to be part of Russia. And there was a big uh, conflict between those that wanted to be a part of it and those who didn't. So I think that it's not that's simple the, yes or no. That's the east of Ukraine. Yeah. Back to my question. If you were sure, like if it could be proven yeah. that people in Crimea want to be part of Russia, yeah. would you approve that? Or not? I think, yeah, I think I would approve. Yeah, if, if it could be proved that it's, it's the case, that the specific area wants to belong to Russia and the people in the area want to belong to Russia, I think, yeah. In a way, what I've understood stood that uh, it was taken from Ukraine, so first impression is that it should belong to mm. Ukraine, but to be totally honest, yeah, I should uh, read some more mm -hmm. and, and, and dig into it, but... Uh, Do you know if there has been a referendum in Crimea about this or not? I don't. You haven't heard about a referendum in Crimea? No. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you were sure, of course it's impossible to prove, but yeah. or almost impossible to prove, that people in Crimea want to be part of Russia. Yeah. If it could be possible to prove and you were convinced of that, yeah. would you approve that Crimea is part of Russia or still yeah. does it sound wrong? If the people wanted to be part of Russia, 
then I believe it would perhaps ease like any unrest within Crimea mm. if they were to just belong to the, the mother country that they want to, so uh, Russia. Yeah, I think that's uh, can compare it to to um, Spain and Catalonia and, and, and in a, in a way that that yeah, of course. Uh, um, I think you have to listen to people's will uh, and, and, and what they wish for. Well, as I see it, it's been invaded by Russia, plain and simple. <laughs> that's a that's a too large of a question to answer here. Have you heard about uh, a referendum in Crimea about this? Uh, yeah, I've heard about it, but well, what I've read about it, it hasn't been. It wasn't democratic in any way. Mm -hmm. So I don't really see it as something that could have, that actually established anything. Mm -hmm. If it could be proved somehow that people in Crimea want to be part of Russia, would that change something in your opinion? Would you approve? Well, yeah, if it could be actually proved, then obviously I would have to reconsider my own mm -hmm. opinions. But the Outside observers Three elections, yeah, yeah, why not? But it's, all, it's always so easy to ship people over and tamper with the polls, so, yeah. Getting mm -hmm. completely yeah. fair elections is, mm -hmm. well, it's, it's maybe a dream at this point. So, yeah. Uh, I would probably um, give the crime in Crimea uh, back to Ukraine and just, I don't know, I don't really know, know how, why, why it's, Gone to this point. So. Uh, do you think that people in Crimea want to be part of Russia or do they want to be part of Ukraine? Mm, I think there are some people who want to be part of Russia, but I believe the most people want to be a part of Ukraine. If you could be sure that the majority of people want to be part of Russia, yeah. then would you somehow accept? the fact that Russia has took it. If Russia, like, if there was, like, something they traded to Ukraine or actually, like, it gave something back to Ukraine or Ukrainian people, I don't know. Yeah, no, I don't think it's right to ever take a other man's country for a piece of it. Mm -hmm. Just like in Finland, the... the um, I, they took the, the left leg of the mm -hmm. Finnish, you know. But the Finnish people didn't want it. What no, if, like, so. for instance, uh, just to make a stupid example, it's impossible, but let's suppose that uh, a big majority of people in Lapland mm. wanted to be independent from Finland. Yeah. Uh, would you accept, would accept it? it. You would. Yes, I would. Because they are so different in culture and they've been there so for so long. And I think it could be okay. Mm -hmm. Is it a right, a wrong? Um, I heard that the people in Ukraine voted for that and it was a democratic vote voting. And uh, I don't know. Where did you read it? I can't remember. Do you think it was Ule? No. No. The question is, was it fair? Were people free yeah. to choose? Or did yeah. they choose freely? That's yeah, that was that's not a... informed in the... It was just told that there was a voting and it happened. And yeah. If you were sure that people in Crimea uh, want to join Russia, want to be part of Russia, yeah. would you approve this move? or? Yeah, no. I would approve if they really want to. Yeah, people who live in there. Yeah. And according to what you read, are people currently happy in Crimea, or do you want? Do they want to come back to Ukraine? I don't know about that. There is no, there is no information about that. No. If you were sure that people in Crimea wanted 
to be part of Russia. Like if it could be proven somehow and you were absolutely convinced that yes, the vast majority of people in Crimea want to be part of Russia, would you approve? Well, yeah, sure. I mean, if it's a, a democratic vote, so of course. Do you think that people from a certain region have the right to decide whether they want to be independent or not? Well, maybe no, because in many countries you have many groups of people and I think if there's no huge... I, well, very difficult question, because we have some groups of... Uh, how do you say it? Ethnic. Like, et yeah, yes, ethnic groups and also just live in peace. I think mm -hmm. everybody just should live in peace. But uh, it's a very stupid example, but suppose that one day all the people in Lapland, mm -hmm. like 95% mm -hmm. of the people yeah. in Lapland wake up and decide, no, we don't want to live in Finland anymore, we want to form our own country. Maybe you... we should start thinking why they want to leave and that is the main question, why does somebody want to leave a country? What is so wrong with the mother country that they want to take some, uh, become independent? I think that's the main question, is it religion or some old thing from the history? Because mm -hmm. but There was the people that from Russia did go to Ukraine and there is the Kremi ETC, there are most of the people speak Russian and uh, are on the Russian side. I think that that wasn't fair at all, mm -hmm. because I don't think that it was right, because they didn't have to, they just didn't have the choice to choose. It's like, either you choose or you just die. Mm -hmm. Do you, have you heard about people in Crimea? Have you have any idea now, are the people in Crimea that are under Russia, are they happy, are they oppressed? Have you heard about this in the news or anything? No. Uh, if you were sure, if it was somehow possible to prove yeah. that the ma vast majority of people in Crimea wanted to be part of Russia? Well, then they should do it, but uh, the rest of Ukraine, if, uh, if they didn't want to, that the whole Ukraine would join in uh, Russia, not no. just Crimea. Only, 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 only Crimea. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, then. I think this is fine. Mm -hmm. If the vast majority of people from a certain area want to be independent, do you think they should have the right to decide so or not? I think so. They should have the right to decide, but it depends about uh, in what kind of reality they are living and why is the reason that they want to leave the country should be a, a reason. Even in Latin America, sometimes happen. Some uh, cities that we are in the borders with other countries, neighbors, also the people from there sometimes say that they prefer to be from other country because they thinking that they will have a better life. But for this, if I be in the case of they, I will first uh, do a analyze what be my reality that I am in the, in the other country. If I will have a, a quality of life for my family, I will get a job, or I, I will be born better in the, in the country that I am.